you're needing a man to make you happy in my own sense it's just to complement your own happiness appearance does it really matter it does <laughs> Hey. Blocks it from Instagram. Jesus. Blocks it from Facebook. They come back. They come back. What be a spirit in my life at all? Hell I start no. with you. Why? Don't be shouting. I need a new skin when you're not. What's that? Guys, I'm shook. <laughs> channel this is chile here and today we are gonna be giving you another talk show but the topic is a relationship okay and i'm going to be having my childhood friends okay we haven't seen for the past five years and mm -hmm. we decided to do this together this so i have them on my show today for Lakemi and cheruke so before we go further you're going to like this video so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell just to know when I post a new video on my channel. So stay tuned for this hot gist, okay? <laughs> so guys, we are back and these are my childhood friends. They're going Hi. to introduction themselves now, okay? Oh yeah, introduction <laughs> yourself. Hi, my name is Farakemi and I'm a marketer. Hello. Cheru on this one again. From a business moment, I just care your business and go viral. Yes, <laughs> oh, these are the guests. Okay, they are guests on this show. Okay, they're not just my friends for this talk show. And we're going to be talking about relationship. I have so many questions. Okay, they're not much, but I have just a few questions to ask them on relationship. These girls, they'll be true. They'll be true. It's through the thick, through the thin, through the disaster. <laughs> Excuse me, we have been not. I have <laughs> been. What's the mean? So, the first question I'm going to throw at you guys is what motivates you? to go into a relationship okay who's gonna start i'll start okay <laughs> what actually motivates you someone motivate. it's um couple goals a very good relationship and then you having the mindset that it's time for you to just settle down sometimes prep pressure and all that i think okay i think my motivation will be finding um happiness there's this feeling when you don't know there's someone there there's this feeling when you know there's someone there so i think going to a relationship it's just for my happiness like a complete part of me when i'm in a relationship okay for like you said something about peer pressure have you ever experienced that peer pressure before not really but i think i had someone who was close <coughs> that had <laughs> that had a situation like that Okay, so because of be, the be straightforward. Slap <laughs> you. Guys, funny. I'm shook. <laughs> close for a catch fire. True. Okay, uh, yes, yes, you're close friend. You are lying. Ah, I'm lying. Lying. I'm 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 lying. Although at first sight she was not really comfortable, but friends were like, "Oh, he's he's good now. Why don't you see where it goes and all that?" So because of the hyping, the hailing, everything, so she just had to go. And then when everything cleared, she was just she and the guy. It's like everything yeah, became clear that, that was this was not what she no wanted. Vibe anymore. Uh, exactly, and um, but the thing is that it's not that the guy was not a good person, he was nice. a very wonderful person, but she loves vibes exactly. So, wow, peer pressure. So, it was based on the moment, like people around her that yeah. say he's good. What do you think? And she'll be asking her, What do you think about this? But I say he's good from what you've told me and all that. So, you're comfortable based on what people said and not what she actually thinks is right for her. So peer pressure. So. Wow, wow. You guys, as you're watching this, make sure you're just dropping your comments <coughs> and your reactions exactly. to whatever we're saying here. Okay, we're just giving you our thoughts. It's not as if we are experts. What are the basic things you desire in a relationship? Okay. Tim? Don't ask me that. I'll show you. This is for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think, um, personally, I, I don't know about generally, but personally, I think the basic things you should look out for it your peace my dear on a serious note if you're not having peace in a relationship 
you shouldn't be there. I mean, you can't be having someone that's giving you extra headache. When I mean extra, you already have your headache. And someone out there is giving you this restlessness, giving you this fear of something you don't, you're not sure. So if you're not having peace in your relationship, it's a no-no. And it's not a joke that you're fair. Don't, don't fix it. Whatever was not meant to be, would not be. If the peace was not going to be there at the beginning, you cannot bring it up. So I think peace will go for my first. Then, um, secondly, commitment. You know, these days, it's hard to find commitment. Yes. But it's one vital part of it. It's a yeah. basic need. If you're going to be committed to your relationship, I think you will put more interest. You will be ready to make it work. You really want it to work, like you want the best out of it. It's just like our different goals and desire, whatever you're committed to do, you will surely get what you want. You will surely bring the best out of it. So commitment is very vital. Now I'm saying commit no not based on only the girl be paid. So yes. it's it's a two way both, yeah. both parties have to be committed. Both partners have to be committed. No matter what you're doing. If you know you really will, except you never had an interest. Now, please stop wasting our time. Thank you. Hey, hey! Cheryl has given it to you for pops. Yeah. Now, for like me, what do you have to say? Um, number one, friendship. Hmm. You understand? It's, I feel that it's, in fact, the number one thing at first that if that's what you're looking for, friendship. Someone you're comfortable with, someone you can share your dreams with, someone who you can um, share your goals with, who you're comfortable with, playing with, doing everything with, you understand? So you're comfortable to be around. So friendship is important. And trust so you can trust as well that you're comfortable that if you leave this person in a particular situation, you know that this person can actually behave. So trust and um, and love. Love is important as well. But yeah, love. But I feel that friendship comes first before love. But love is important as well. Okay. So when it comes to relationship, appearance, does it really matter? It does. Oh. Hey, auntie, I yes. cannot carry a boy that <laughs> don't my mother. I mean, how will you feel when you can go out with your boyfriend on a date? <laughs> because of how he looks. Please, let them look at I need a <laughs> If I'm going to look peng for him, he has to look peng. Excuse me. Okay, no, yeah. no seriously. It's, it's important, like in a way it's actually very important because um you're looking for certain yes we know that we're actually looking for things that how we put it things that inside of the person like character good character and all that but let's not deceive ourselves that we're not looking for somebody who is hi exactly when your friends just see they but will pause. you should know like some people will actually based on maybe when you ask them what do you want in a guy so say they want some of his fans that who's tall but just... we must not actually place it as our top priority because if you don't get it huh, pick yourself yeah appearance is very i mean again it's important to appear needs even if you're going to keep this keep them needs as yes. well you can't be shouting i need a needs game when you're not <laughs> <laughs> i mean okay. you attract what you want yes so, so exactly my girls so, are giving it to you hot 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 so like what, you say again. Again. what she said yes appearance your neatness your composure everything is important but we are also talking about physical attributes as well carry on thank you <laughs> physical attributes as well to know if they are actually important so in a way they are yes because hmm, maybe it's not what you want maybe you know one day you just listen say what that is my oh. so we all know that we'll grow old and then we'll not be looking as pain as we are right now but still but still maintain that cute and no, nice no. look must not be all, all that fine like anthony joshua or <laughs> hey! on our list. <laughs> but on a serious note i think good. appearance is we we have we we i think there's but a yeah, misconception on this appearance let but me talk a little about appearance appearance does not necessarily mean you have to put on all the designers and look bling bling yeah, yes you know. there are so many people that like bling bling but what i mean appearance appear needs first of all appear presentable 
if yes. what, like what, whatever I said, if you're going to keep your dreads or you're going to keep your hair, beards, just make it look neat. Like even people that don't like it, we even say, "Wow, so I, I love, I love, like I love this so I like look and I love this outfit." <laughs> so <laughs> apparently, matters. Hope, hope, you don't hope. need all the money to look um, good. Please cut your hair. That's just, like just carry something that someone will be proud of. <laughs> look proud for your babe. Look ah, cute for your babe. Look good for your Look hair. proud. What did you? What? What was that? Is it? Is that? <laughs> Cut your hair, please. Cut your hair. If you like, <laughs> if you cut your hair, there is yeah, still dead fish. Don't cut it. <laughs> cut your hair, yes. Anything you do, look me to it. See, that's just my point. Yes. Yeah, true. true Work sure. on your because, appearance. Exactly. Yeah, you because um, sometimes your appearance, your appearance, not sometimes. Your appearance makes you very attractive. And yeah, the same goes for the ladies. I mean, we ladies, we are so glued to our makeup is our appearance. And see, if you make up finish and your clothes is dirty, after that. <laughs> what if after the makeup, we now wipe it off? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What yeah. do you have to show? What do you have to show? Don't worry, we are okay. So appearance. Don't worry, we're clean on this, you know. So appearance should also matter to the ladies and both to the guys. So ladies, look cute, look neat too. Forget this makeup. Hey, makeup is hiding a lot of things. I mean, without makeup. Ah, we need it, or we need it. That's <laughs> clear. The I really need that. I used to say no. I'm I'm trying to say that you need to look neat. Don't be depending on this artificial. You should look neat from inside too. Appearance. 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 Let's go. So that your baby. You will not say, Hey, I've seen somebody better than you because of our parents. Wait, let's go to the next, <laughs> next question on this girl talk Is it important for you to be an independent lady? Of course. Ha! Well, I can give it to us. Yes. That's what she has been doing. That's what she has a boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> give it to <laughs> us. Let's get it. Us. Okay, see from experience anyway, don't just make it. Have something to do for yourself so you don't just do every time you are asking somebody for money hmm. and yeah, it's not a very happy something so get something done but don't make it too much that you don't need someone everyone needs someone in their life once in a while yeah. so don't make it because I've, I've, I've been in a position where I made it I've been in a position where I've been too independent on my own doing things on my own Basically staying on my comfort zone that it's not as if I don't need anyone around me Which is not really nice, but it's good to be independent right? Okay, I but don't make it excess. It's bad Mm-hmm. Work for your money, about okay? independent, I think you should have something in your pocket <laughs> That's what to do, no matter how Seriously, you choose I think a guy will value someone that goes out, have something doing coming back to explore her ideas with him I mean, how would you feel when you don't really have any business idea running through your head to discuss with your man? How would you feel when his projects are before you and he's telling you about his ideas and you have nothing to offer? Okay, if you're not going to be independent now, at least have something to think of at least also that's being independent if you can think on your own, if you can have that mind of your mindset of your own, a mind of your own Think is enough to create the world you want. It's enough to make you that independent lady. So we shouldn't just depend on everything your man says, whatever he wants. Also have a say. That's also being independent. It doesn't really necessarily mean money, money, money. Not like you should be superior. Okay, and the guy is the head, but you should also have something to, to offer. Right. Yes, have something to bring to the table. Yeah, that's what I think. And so I that like say no. Wow, say wow now. To avoid like say I know, you know na. What? What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> so being independent is is yeah, really it's good. important. It's At least it bring respect, if not for anything, it bring yeah. respect. Yes, exactly. Independent ladies out there, big shout out to you guys. Thumbs up to Thumbs you. Up. Ho ho, you're my role model. <laughs> Okay guys, everyone on social media and people are claiming that happiness is free, happiness is free, happiness is free. Are you actually happy? Now, I'm going to ask my girls, do you need a man to be happy? Okay, <laughs> me personally. You see, uh, let me tell you this thing. We ladies, we are so, how would I put it, we are so reserved to the point where we can't really say it out. Yes, we need a man, but to an extent, not to be happy you know why i said so you need you can need a man 
because for that moment you're enjoying the moon you're, as for that moment you're enjoying everything the excitement the love the care that's if you're getting it it will really make you happy but on extent you shouldn't be dependent on his happiness because once he's not there it will make your life miserable and if he's not there come on make yourself happy there are other things to do hang out with friends so your happiness should not be dependent on your man but you also need him to be happy because actually Personally, I think you're not complete. Like, there's this part of you. You can't stay alone. You can't. There's complete. this part of you that also wants that opposite sex excite excitement. Yes. yes. <coughs> when I mean excitement, I mean to be happy. Someone being around you, making you happy. You hello, baby. Talking, gisting, <laughs> adding the calls and everything. So you, it also you makes know? you feel special. So that's part of being happy. Any more than my opinion. Fala <laughs> Kemi. That one, no get with it. <laughs> Just pass her. <laughs> she don't know how I feel that she did it. No, simple and short. Just, just be happy on your own. And if you're needing a man to make you happy, just there are many things that can actually make you happy. You being on your own, find your hobbies, find something doing for yourself, be comfortable with yourself to make yourself happy. But if you're needing a man to make you happy, in my own sense, it's just to complement your own happiness. Because if you, you are sad, he is happy. You will not exhaust all his happiness on you. You will not have any more friends. Exactly. Yet, right? So you both should be happy. So you don't, in a sense, you don't actually need a man to be happy if you're sad. What? Yeah, that's true. But you need him to be happy if you're already happy on your own. Mm -hmm. Run scum scum. Run Foxy from Instagram. Jesus. Foxy from Facebook. She cannot be a monetary spirit in my life. At all. Because I have to take my revenge. But you can't come out with revenge. That's my best thing. You see, eh? The enemy you don't do is this. That thing is to go to your bachelor party. To manage. Don't forget to subscribe. Are you?